Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how you can use PHP server-side includes along with variables to include even more consistent information on all of your web pages. So in a previous video, I showed you how briefly you can use a PHP includes to put in things like um, a reference to an external style sheet or even some Google Analytics code. But let's go a little bit further here. What if I want to include everything that is in my head section? So I also want to include all this meta stuff and even more that I that I don't have here, like references to uh, mobile web pages and alternative style sheets and things like that. I'm going to cut out all of this code. Go to my head section, include file, which is just a plain i um, plain inc text file. I'm going to do that. And you should be, some warning bells should be going off in your head saying, wait a minute, there's something that could go wrong with this, right? Because the PHP includes will put the same content on every web page. But I know that not every web page is going to have the same title and certainly not going to have the same description. Well, that's where you're going to use some PHP variables. So instead of putting my title in here, I'm on my include file, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and put in a brief PHP line, echo, dollar sign, which references a variable, and I'll just go ahead and put in page title. There we go. So just kind of think about this for a second. I'm going to insert my page title text which is going to be a variable in between my opening and closing title tags. Now I'm going to do something similar. I'll just copy this line here. I'm going to do something similar for the description of my web page. Okay, so that's going right in between the quotation marks where that's exactly where I want that text to show up. Okay, so I've included all of my header content into my include file and I've set up some variables which are going to insert some very important text. Now back on my original page what I need to do here is another little PHP line but in this one I'm going to declare a couple variables. I'm going to have dollar sign page title equals and I'll put in something like um, unique title for my page. And I'm going to do another one. Page descriptions that I just used. I can't remember what I used here. Let me just head back over there. Ooh, I didn't change that, so I need to make sure. This will be page description variable, page title variable, so I need two different variable names there. So back over on this one, I can put in um, page description equals, and this is, you know, Every web page should have a unique and purposeful description. Excellent. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, close that out. So all of my pages are going to have their own unique page title text included in the variable and their own unique description included in a variable. So I'm going to save this. However, then the browser is going to say, hey, wait, we need some head section code. It's going to jump over to my head section include file. It's going to grab all of this, but it's going to replace the variables in the title and the variable in the description with the text that I want right there. So there's only two files I need updated. So let me just do a quick refresh on my filezilla here. I'm going to update load SSI1 and my head section include, publish those, click OK to overwrite, back over to the browser here, notice I'm online here, 6minutesmarter.com, refresh, you're not going to notice much of a change, but check this out, if I view the source code of the page, there's my unique title for my page right there in the title tags. And here's my unique description for the page right there within the quotes of the meta description. Every page should have a unique and purposeful description. So it's kind of tricky at first, but I think you're going to really like putting this trick into action because now I can have all of this content, 
all of this consistent content out on separate include files. So if I want to make a change to all of my pages, all I need to do is update the include file. I just need to update uh, how is this looking over here. And um, that will, of course, update every single web page on my site. Now, if you're missing your color coding, I'm here in Notepad++. It doesn't quite understand that I want this format as HTML. You can do that. You can just head over to the Language tab, H, HTML, and it'll format it. Just It'll color code it just like HTML. So you just work with your code on here. And then on PHP, just include that information. You do this for footers, for the entire bottom portion. You, know, you could even do it for the, for the bulk of, if not all of the layout of your web page. So that's a little bit more with server-side includes using PHP variables.